Welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights 2 Storm of Zaheer. This is Big Los, and we have just come back from the Dragon Caves to West Harbor, so let's talk to the Mayor Laszlo. Thank the gods you made it here safely. I didn't know if the dragons were like to try and meld you the moment you got in sight of the village. One of them is patrolling. I don't know where. Let's see if anybody else has something good to say. Well, you kind of do. I guess we'll go with you. I saw tracks on the way here. Close, but not too close. What happened? It was one of the dragons, not Tarmus. When Pitney and Ginny brought him in, the second he was in the gates, he changed back. Lizardman came out of the forest, and, other, and the other dragon with them. Gods, this is all my fault. Yes, yes it is. Calm yourself, Laszlo. You're not to blame. I. we all thought he was the real Tarmus. How could you have known different? You don't understand. It's more complicated than that. Oh, and what does Noredial have to say? What in the hells are you talking about? No, I think we know. Yeah. I'll say it is. We saw casks of harvest meat in the dragon's lair, Laszlo. Care to tell us how it got there? When we were rebuilding West Harbor, every night undead would come out of the swamp, ghouls and zombies in, and worse. Sometimes we could kill them before they took someone, but not always. We know all this, Laz. What are you going on about? The dragons. When they came back, I thought they would finish us. But I thought maybe, with the gold we had... We could make a deal. So you bribed them to take care of your undead problem in exchange for tribute. What then? Laszlo, you didn't. Yes, it's true. I offered them tribute to kill the undead, and it worked. For a time. But when I ran out of money, I offered them harvest mead. If I'd only known, they went mad for it, insatiable. They wanted more than I could give, and now it's the reason they have West Harbor captive. So we could do a lore check. I think we will. We should have known Black Dragons wouldn't keep their deal. It's not their nature. I didn't expect it to end like this. For Shantia's sake, I wanted to protect the village. I would do anything to keep West Harbor safe. And now, I can't do it alone. We need those dragons dead. One of them, the one who took the shape of Tarmus, Voragmanthar, is over in the field across from the village. Offer him a challenge. He'll be amused enough to accept. Well, looks like we got a lot of options. Slightly less options. I think the extra option is this is a waste of my time, and I feel like saying that. This sounds like a waste of my time. Well, if you change your mind, you know we could use your aid, travelers. We'll think about it. You're back. Good to see you safe. Thanks to you for finding Tarmus as well. I know he'll help us as best he can. Quite so, Laszlo. I know these beasts' weakness better than most. After spending some time in their cesspit of a cave, nothing like the stink of rotting deer corpses to make one formulate detailed revenge plans. Ugh. Don't know why it couldn't have gotten himself out. The wards on the gel didn't look all that strong. <laughs> Are you ready to confront the dragons? Alright, let's bring the battle to them. Good. We shall be ready. I'm glad... I'm glad we could face this battle by your side. Aye, and let's see how smug they are after a yes. few smacks with this mace. Be ready. Very well, so we're gonna put all the buffs on in the usual manner. That means putting stone skin on everybody. Technically, we could put some energy immunity against acid since these are black dragons. If we are gonna do battle with them. Let's do Bark Skin. And I guess we'll do Magic Fang. See, we could have done this Dragon Tooth, but all it does is increase the threat. The critical threat range. 
So we're not gonna mess with that. Yes. Then we also need to put on some other buffs on Inchula. We need to do Bear's Endurance, Bull Strength. Oh, yes. You should put on Improved Mage Armor on Inchula since she really doesn't have that much AC. And then you can do Shield on yourself. And on Valentino, do regular mage armor. Yes. Because I don't think his chain shirt or whatever he's wearing has any bonuses on it. Then we'll do Shield of Faith on pretty much everybody. Now, when we go and talk to these dragons, they are going to want us to help them. And if we do that, we're going to have to get into a battle with... Laszlo and Pitney and yes. Ginny and Tormus. So we would have to make a choice yes. then. And then afterwards, we could kill the dragons and then get the harvest meat. If we just go along with them, then we'll get the dragon meat. And it's not as valuable as harvest meat. Also, we won't be able to get a quest to get another companion leader if we don't help the town out. Hello <laughs> again, little snack. Didn't expect to see you up and around here. Well, mostly because I expected you to die in the lair. But oh well. Guess your smooth skins are more resilient than I took you for. Let's see. You see how resilient we are firsthand. I don't enjoy people trying to kill me. Save your flattery. I think Valentino has a second option. You seriously think your pathetic traps would stop me? Not so much the traps on their own, but the monsters behind them, really. No matter. I can see you're a clever customer. Allow me to propose a more beneficial solution. I suspect Buckman has figured out now that he can't keep his little scheme hidden any longer. I did approach my brother and I about taking care of the mayor's small and dead problem. Took a typical for him, having someone else do his dirty work. Are you suggesting another deal? He's guaranteed you are a horde, I bet. But why take orders from someone who only offers what isn't his? And we held up our end of the bargain and kept the undead away from the village. Why not take our mead, dragon mead, some gold on the side, and kill Buckman instead? Well, we could say I don't double-cross people, but that would be a lawful answer, and we're leaning towards neutral chaotic. Hmm, what should we choose? Valid points, true. That's if we want to fight Buckman. Do you seriously think I'd be so stupid as to trust a pair of dragons to keep their word? I'm offended, and you're as good as dead. Well, I tried to make you see reason. Stand back, my servants. I'll give you a show, shall I? Oh, I shall enjoy this fleshling. Oh, I guess I forgot to cast haste, so you're ready to doing it now. And let's do ghostly guess visage. I do that. And you're casting animate dead. What I want to do is shocking on burst we weapon. No so I guess that'll be wild. done afterwards. No quarter given in the wild. And there's not really any spells that you can cast at him, so... Oh, you're summoning a creature. Look at them. Little Alright, we'll just have everybody do what they're gonna do. Now, I heard from somebody commenting on one of my original campaign videos that Dragons are immune to sneak attacks, so I'm not even going to try to get sneak attacks on them. Plus, it looks like the dragon is completely concentrating on Valentino and ignoring the rest of the party. Which is probably a good thing. So let's put some of this dragon's bile on his rapier, and then we'll try to see if we can poison him. Now, I don't know if it worked or not, so let's scroll up here. Yeah, it looks like he saved. Looks like 23 was his modifier, so he got a 30. And the DC was only 26, so it, he would have had to roll a 2 or lower. So I'm not even really concerned about him knight. 
not saving. Looks like we've got. And looks like we're actually doing fairly well because when we fought the lap six, we were at higher levels and we had a much harder time. In fact, it killed most of my party members. Oh, and here's a second dragon. Okay, there goes one. Now we'll take care of the other one. Disarm, hit. Is this dragon disarming one of my party members? Who is he disarming? Challenge rating impossible. The dragon sees with rage his old eyes glowing and his jaws dripping acid. He seems rather unhappy about the situation. Looks like we almost got him. Oh, he's breathing acid. And looks like he wore off Inshula's stone skin. Although Inshula hasn't taken any damage, now she will take full damage. And we got a new feat, Dragon Slayer, because we killed the second dragon. And we got 105 XP for killing him. Probably got 105 for killing Thank the other the one, gods, too. You got out of that lair alive. Yeah, because then we were, hell, we were here to help you out. It's... It's over, just... Just give me a moment to catch... Catch my breath, I, I need to speak with you. Okay. So, why don't we check out these treasures? Don't ask about that dreadful cave. The less said about it, the better. You don't sound like the original Tarmus. So we get some black dragon scales. Short sword plus one. The only one to have that would be Neridiel. So was she disarmed? Me closely. Indeed she was. Okay. And a rapier. Y you mean... Yes. You only had a regular rapier this whole time? Yes. Well, I guess we'll have to buy you a new one when we get back into West Harbor. Hopefully, somebody will sell something that can replace your current weapon. Let's put these back in your quick keys. Oh, we got something else over here. Were there other monsters here? It looks like it. Great sword plus two. Maybe lizardmen. I think I have a bit too much in my pack to move. I guess we'll throw that into the bag of holding. Follow me. I have such sights to show you. Yeah, let's throw this in there. All right, so we got some stuff to sell. Take us to the dragons, kindly. I got a few words my mace and I want to have with them. Um, we already killed them, buddy. So we can't get back into West Harbor. Well, why not? We tried talking with everybody. What does this dragon slayer say? We get plus two to attack and damage versus dragons because we killed two of them. Uh, very good. I don't know if we'll be fighting more dragons in the future or not. The Palisade Gate is closed. Yeah, we need to get in. Do we have to talk to them again? I guess so. Gods, but that was trying. I can't describe my relief. A shame for allowing this to happen. Ha, <laughs> you're lucky I even decided to let you live. That sounds like a Valentino answer. We get 1200 XP and then we go more towards evil. I deserve your scorn. I'm grateful for the chance to redeem myself. As for your reward, the empty building north of the training grounds will be your trading center if you wish to purchase it. And the harvest meat is yours to trade at the best price we can give you. Not to mention any gold those beasts had in their lair. I'd wager better hurry before I beat you there to get it. Pitney, don't be a dolt. There in that horde fair and square. Oh, of course, love. I just... Oh, well. Are we done here? For our part, we've got quite a lot to do. But you're free to go, travelers. Of course, our gates are open to you should you ever stop by. So 
Oh, uh, they're all heading inside, so we might uh, go in as well and give good wife Aruna her shawl back and maybe get some XP for that, too. Maybe we'll talk to some more people in here. It was a brave thing you did facing down those dragons, stranger. You got my thanks. And this town's thanks. What about you, Tarmus? Glad all that's over. What a bother. I suppose I have to thank you for your part. Without your help, I'd be a moldering corpse in that cage. Centipedes probably feasting on my eyeballs. I just killed dragons. That image is not going to make me ill. Well, while I admit rattling you was not my aim, I do seem to have a mind for the macabre. It comes from being close to death recently, I suppose. All that aside, I wanted to see if you might be interested in some old magical items I picked up in my travels. As my recent experiences taught me, they seem less than able to keep me from harm. But you might enjoy them, for a price, of course. Let's do this spellcraft. I hope you don't try to sell me something whose worth has been exhausted. Don't imagine something like that can get slipped past my notice. Please, I'm a wizard, not a common cut purse. I wouldn't bother you with it if I didn't think it'd be something you could use. I'm not above a little bit of gratitude, at least. So, show me what you have for sale. Alright, so it looks like he sells... Adamantine armors, a belt of strength plus four. We might want to buy that for somebody. Yes. Belt of agility is really expensive. Much less than... Or much more than the belt of strength. Sells a lot of plus one armors. Sells adamantine weapons. Alchemical silver weapons. Regular weapons and plus one weapons. Well, looks like here's our chance to get a plus one rapier for an Aurediel. Oh, yeah. There you are. Let's. Oh, we gotta scroll down again. There it is. So we got nearly 50,000 gold to I play with. I think I have with. a bit too much in my pack to move. So let's put the put this into the quick keys. And then I guess we'll sell this old rapier. We're not going to need it anymore. Some Sheridan bows. Or Shedderin. Staff of the Holy, what's this? It's only usable by a cleric. It does aid, cure light wounds, and cure moderate wounds. No thanks. Our cleric has a much better weapon. Shocking shurikens. Well, you don't have any spells, unfortunately, for a wizard. We could definitely use spells. Ring of Scholars, Ring of Insight, those modify lore. No, we could buy one of Fireball here. Rod of Freedom, which does freedom of movement and remove paralysis and stone to flesh. I think anybody can use rods. Okay, we got a Wand of Inflict Moderate Wounds. We can use that for... Laryl. He'll be able to use that. I think it said... Yeah, it says we could do 19 points of damage for every use. That's usually more than one of his shocking shurikens. Plus, we could do it from a distance. Everyone, follow me! I think that might be worth getting. Plus, you can get that too. Yeah, we'll have that for you, so you can shoot that from a distance if you really want to. Ring of the Ram. It does knock down, or gives you knock down as a feat. It does knock one charge per use. Then we got a couple more recipes, but we don't want to waste our money on that. Any interesting armors that we could use? Oh yeah, that's right. Now you can wear heavy armors. Because you took a black card level. Yes. Why don't we take advantage of this? We got this armor of comfort here. That's a heavy armor. It's got 
plus two bonus points to AC. Everyone follow me! Let's see. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so her AC went up two points just by equipping that. So we could probably sell this. Get some of our money back. I think the goal would be to get her some type of full plate. It doesn't even have to be mithril full plate. So we bought her a belt of strength because she gets the most benefit from using strength. Like when she uses her war hammer or throwing axes. So she'll be the strongest member of the party. If she wasn't already. She probably was. See, we could get her a full plate plus one, but... I want to save my money for some type of full plate where it would be like a plus three or plus four or something. See, they even have mithril full plates. That's treated as medium armor. And the max dex bonus is three. Yes. So, it's still not useful for someone like Valentino or Everyone Noredio. follow me and try to keep up. But Laryl could use it. Actually, he could probably just use a regular full plate. He's got a plus one modifier to his dex. Yes. Although he would lose his wisdom bonus to his AC. So let's talk to good wife Aruna. Welcome back, adventurers. It was a kindness you did this village, killing those dragons. Don't know if I'll be able to look at a keg of mead much without wincing, though. But what can I do for you? I have your shawl here, good wife. M my thanks to you, stranger. Was I right? Did the lizards have it? We got 1,000 XP. Yes, they seem to think it was pretty important, too. No, I found it in a Tarasque's gut. It almost looked as if they were worshipping it. I think we'll say that. It almost looked as if they were... Worshipping it a little. They had it in the same chest as a sacred relic of their deity. Hmm. I was right about them then. Ah, no matter. As for a reward, here, take this. It's not much to look at, I know, but it's sturdy. And it'll help you when you're threatened. Earth mo Mother will bless you with this at your side, I know. So we got a gardener spade. And did we get another thousand XP? Not bad for a stick. I'll see what it can do. Was there anything else you needed? Um, tell me about being a merchant. I have little in the way of mercantile stories for you, or tales of life on the road. What I can share from my life in the wa Wanderfen is some knowledge of dealing with folk. And after that, she had nothing but kind words for me. People can be cross. Too often they look at you and see only what you need. Remember that you may not see worth until it's too late. Alright, uh, I had a question for you. I shall do my best to answer. I need something else. How can I help? Can you use some healing? There you are. Best I could do for now. I've got militia to patch up as well. They're not so careful in practicing as they should be, I fear. Do the militia injure their, themselves often? Not so much, thankfully. Lazlo seems a capable enough man, but they could use some more training, that's certain. Ginny was in charge of that when she was in town. Maybe when she's back, she could use a hand. You don't seem like the rest of the villagers. There's something about you. Looks like those with wisdom say this. Heh, <laughs> now that sounds sinister. Nothing special about me, traveler. Earth Mother just favors my sickle come the harvest, is all. I know what you mean. I am like you. I guess... She is a favorite soul? Or a ranger? That you may be, child. It makes sense there are more like us after the time of troubles. 
but I'm rambling. Forgive me. Was there something else you wanted? Or maybe she's a Yuan-Ti. I don't know. Alright, well, let's see these supplies. Maybe she got something different from last time. No, it doesn't look like it, does it? Welcome back, adventurers. Got anything else to say? What's new in the village? Let me see. Well, our boisterous little half jaw seems a little depressed. Much like Jan Buckman, even his friend Shadan seems unable to bring him out of his muck. Not that I think he's all that good at trying. You don't trust Shadan? And you do? Someone that fetching around parts like this with nothing better to do than sell baubles? Strange, that. Isn't he a refugee as well? Not that I can see. His clothes are far too fine and he doesn't ever seem like he runs out of gold or goes hungry. Didn't the dragons work him just as hard as the rest of you? No, that's the thing. Something about him. And they left him alone. Sure, he worked, but slower than the rest of us. When we lagged behind, the lizard folk would hassle us to hurry up. But when he lagged, none laid a hand on him. I think the lizards were even afraid of him. Sounds suspicious. You agree? That's a kindness. Makes you and I alone in that, young one. Mind whom you speak to regarding it as well. And keep a close eye on that man. What's wrong with the half draw? No idea. I'd go ask him if you really want to know, although his sourness doesn't exactly make him a good conversationalist, I must say. Alright, good day, good wife. I guess we will talk to this guy and see if we can garner any information out of him. What's up, Coral? Come to see the failed warlock then, have you? Where's the rest of my party? Diplomacy. Don't blame yourself. The dragons took everyone by surprise. You compare me to these swamp-dwelling snivelers? I have power. Deals I've made with demons and devils. Seen things that would terrify the stoutest heart. But when I said as much to the dragons, they... They... Laughed at me. And they threw me in to make mead with the rest. I came here to follow in the footsteps of the Great One, the fearsome Amon Jero. What would he say if he saw me now? Lore. I heard something about a warlock arriving at Crossroad Keep. Maybe that was him. Yes. Yes, it was. You know the stories too? It must be. Yes, it's so clear now. I will go to Crossroad Keep. I will follow his path and study where he studied. Alright, I guess we will see him back at Crossroad Keep. I guess we'll talk to Shaydan now. Greetings, adventurers. Quite a thing you did for the village indeed. Very impressive. And you managed to rescue Laszlo, quite brave of you, and remarkable how quickly these villagers seem to have forgiven him for his transgression. Some villagers think how you got through the dragon's occupation was a li little suspicious. I assure you, traveler, it was nothing of the sort. They saw my richer clothes and imagined I might divulge the location of my wealth to them. And I admit, I did my best to play to their expectations. Well, I guess we can bluff. I can appreciate cunning. Well done. It was nothing, good sir. I only wish I could have done more. Now, is there anything else I may help you with? Uh, farewell for Welcome now. Welcome back, adventurers. How may I help? What have you gotten stock? Now, I've heard that if you kill the mayor and whoever's helping him, then he'll sell rogue-type items. But he's not now. Plus, there was something to have him tell us Welcome about being back. a merchant. And that option isn't there anymore. Well, that's too bad. I guess we won't learn about being a merchant from him. What do you want oh, well. now? So let's go back to the dragon's cave and get the horde that we didn't get earlier since the dragons are dead now. So, I'm going to cut out the part of us going to the cave, so we'll meet you there in a couple minutes. Yes. 
Alright, and here we are. What do you want now? I'm not expecting any enemies or traps to have respawned themselves, so let's just go through this quickly. I didn't see that I didn't have any shurikens equipped, so we'll equip them now. And we'll just make a beeline towards where the horde was. It was in the back here somewhere. Let's turn on dark vision. Uh, I believe that is the doorway over there. Still looks like that there is some sort of magic in front of it, but maybe yes. we can go on through. Why don't we turn on search mode and dark vision? Well, nothing's popping up, so... How come we can't open this thing? Do we have to get, like, right next to it? Okay. So we get some sort of amulet. Small chain of beat centers on a... We can't identify it? Our lore skill isn't high enough? What about oh, if we give it yes. to Noridio? Well, I guess she did. Where is it? Hold fast. It does... It... Spell immunity to hold person and hold monster once per day and hold person twice per day. Okay. Well, if we didn't have another amulet yes. giving us bonuses, I guess we could equip that. What about in this chest over here? Alright, so we unlocked it. And we get another amulet, a short sword... 3,000 gold, a katana, armor, and a couple of gems. Another amulet we can't identify. Little Fang. It's a short sword. It, it does plus two, massive criticals, 1d4, and plus one vampiric regeneration. I guess we'll give that to Noredio. Katana plus two. Maybe we can give that to Laryl. Chainmail plus two. We'll probably sell that. So let's give this to Noredio. Maybe she can identify oh, yes. this one as well. Oh, that one was a hold fast too. So we have two of these things. Yes. Maybe we can give Such those to some companions. Great. So let's throw the chainmail Such into great. the bag of holding. We'll give the katana plus two to Laryl. He'll use that instead of the bastard sword, yes. I gather. I guess we'll. Oh, you can dual wield these things? See, the katana and the bastard sword do exactly the same type of damage. They're almost the same weapon. They're just by another name. Although the katana does have the advantage of being a plus two. I guess we'll use that one instead. See, if we equip it, it kind of glows while the plus one bastard sword does not. Let's see, if we go over here... Yeah, you can kind of see it's... Typical katana, it's glowing, and then if we clip the bastard sword... Let's see if we can get a better view of this thing. Yeah, see, it has, like, a different type of hilts and all that, and the katana is probably just sharp on one side, but... Yes. They're basically the same weapon. Alright, so where are we going to go next? I'm not really too sure. Maybe we'll go to another town and try to establish some type of trade mission or something. In the meantime, this is Big Los signing off. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. And Tango Buendia.